Hey guys and welcome to today's video. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are watching this right when I post it, it's probably late on a Friday because I am filming right after I've gotten home from work on a Friday. It has been a longish week. I'm ready to take all the makeup off of my face and test out a beauty product. And I thought what we would test today is this all natural collagen infused lip mask from KNC Beauty. I received this in my November BoxyCharm box. I'll put a link down below to my unboxing of my BoxyCharm and my Ipsy. So if you want to see all the things that I got, you can watch that. Uh, and I thought Friday after work, this is a good time to do something that's a little relaxing and self-care and just easing myself into the weekend. Uh, a couple of things to say before we get moving on in this video. Um, the first, and maybe the only thing, it's been a long day. Um, coming up on Tuesday, this coming Tuesday, is Giving Tuesday. For all of my American friends, uh, you just had Thanksgiving yesterday, and when I'm filming this, it is Black Friday, which is the thing that has also come to Canada, even though we have Thanksgiving like last month. Um, so there was Black Friday, which is all about shopping, there became Cyber Monday, which was all about shopping, and somewhere along the way, someone said, hey, this is the kind of season where we usually give and share and help each other out. Maybe after all that shopping, we should think about giving back, which is where Giving Tuesday came from. So on Tuesday, I'm gonna post a video that is not skincare related, not makeup related, telling you that now, I'm not trying to trick you into watching a video that you're not interested about, uh, but I'm gonna put up a video about a charity and a cause that I care a lot about, uh, and I would appreciate it if you gave it a watch. So that is all I have to say about non this product thing. So let's talk a little bit about KNC Beauty. And as always, timestamps are down below for different parts of this video. I had not heard of KNC Beauty before receiving this, and we actually got three of these in our BoxyCharm, but there's probably a reason for that. This is actually the only product that KNC Beauty currently has. Uh, KNC, for some reason when I saw this and heard KNC Beauty, I was picturing it maybe being a Korean skincare brand, but it is not. I'll read you about the founder here. This was founded by Kristen Noel Crawley, KNC. She took a trip to Tokyo that kickstarted a love affair with lip masks because what's not to love about lip masks, she says. And she discovered there were no natural options, so she decided to make her own. So after two years of doing this and trials and trying different things, KNC Beauty introduced the world's first and best all natural collagen infused lip masks, uh, making the world a better place, in their words. Because this brand only has one product, we'll skip really quickly forward from talking about the brand, which I just did, into talking about the product itself. So as far as the price of these, uh, in American dollars, it's going to be $24.99 for a five pack of these. Uh, if you buy a 10 pack, you get a little bit more of a discount, it's $39.99. And they do say about this that the collagen infused lip mask is all natural. Uh, their formula blends moisturizing rose flower oil, cherry extract and vitamin E for a gorgeous pout from the inside out. Um, and it says the tingle that you feel at the end is the collagen. Uh, it says that it conditions, moisturizes, plumps and hydrates. And the directions are to apply to clean lips for 15 to 20 minutes and use two to three times per week, which is significant because if you do that, you're gonna go through about 10 per week, which means you're gonna be spending about $40 American on lip masks, which seems like a lot, but we will see if this is something amazing that you want to spend $40 a month on having the best, plumpest, best conditioned lips, oh my God, of your life. This is not tested on animals. It is a cruelty-free product. And as far as the ingredients in here go, it's not a huge list. It's uh, deionized water, glycerin, collagen, Prunus Clesis, which is bitter cherry. I don't know where that accent came for a second there. Um, hyaluronic acid, rose flower oil, and vitamin E. They have had a lot of press for these. I see a lot of different magazine articles about it. Under their testimonials, there's a testimonial from Kim Kardashian West with a picture of her with this on. Uh, so even though it is a brand with only one product, this product has had a lot of hype. Uh, and it is also made in China, even though it's distributed through the US. What else would you need to know about this? I think that's all. I am going to go get my face washed off because I have the remnants of the makeup 
that I wore today on my face. I'm going to change out of my like sweater dress thing with these sleeves going on, which is not going to be the best thing for putting on skincare. So I'll be right back in a little bit more of a bare-faced, comfy outfit look to put on this lip mask. So I'm back, my skin is clean, my comfy favorite gray t-shirt is on, and it's time to put on a lip mask. I have never used a lip mask of any kind in my entire life. And I was very proud of myself earlier when I was planning this video that I remembered that once I put this on, I'm not gonna be able to say anything to the camera. Usually with masks, you can still talk a little bit, not so with this. So I've never tried anything like this before, but it definitely is something that I need. I have quite dry chap lips right now. Um, I just, it's the time of year. I have a little bit of a sort of wheezing and cold ongoing, so I tend to breathe through my mouth a lot and there's like snow and stuff. So it's just, it's very needed right now. Uh, so I have no idea what to expect, but let's try this. Oh, it comes in like a little tray. Oh, and liquid just spurted out of it. More liquid is falling out of it. Okay, I've got the tray the right way up to pull this out. There is a lot of liquid going on there, more than I expected. So this is the lip mask and wow, this looks like a very thin sheet of jello. Weird. I expect this to be like, thicker for some reason, like more rubbery and less jello-y. Does anyone remember in like the 90s or 80s when they tried to make jello jigglers a thing where you could make like harder than usual jello and then cut it out with cookie cutters into shapes? That's what this reminds me of. Okay, I have thoughts, but I'm going to give you those thoughts after I cough quickly. My lips feel numb, which is really weird. My lips are also surprisingly not damp. So I think they feel a little plumped. Let me zoom you in. It's hard to tell if they feel plump or because they feel numb, and I don't really it's a very strange feeling, actually. A couple of immediate impressions here from having this on is you definitely need to lie down when you're wearing this because it's not like a sheet mask you put on that sticks to all the contours of your face. It really felt, especially as I wore it for a while and it started drying, like you could see at the end there I kind of had to hold it on, that it it dries and it starts to come off. And even when I was lying down, uh, I was trying to make sure that the mask kept contact with like my actual lips. So it kind of didn't touch the skin down here. Like it bubbled up around quite a bit uh, or just didn't lay flat. Like I almost pictured that being like something that would like suction to my face. Um, why does it feel numbish? That's very strange. Um, another thing that I realize is it's actually a little disconcerting to have something covering your mouth where you feel like, like your mouth is covered. Like I have to breathe through my nose <clears throat> and I was having a coughing fit at about the like 15 minute mark. Um, and I was trying to like lay down anyway, it just, it didn't, meh, it, like it didn't feel uncomfortable necessarily but it definitely didn't have the sort of like relaxing spa feeling of a face mask because it felt very constricting having my lips covered uh yeah it's very strange i don't know what in there is doing that numbing i mean it says collagen i was doing a little bit of research before this video because i was trying to understand like collagen is in your skin but does collagen actually penetrate your skin like does having it on my lips mean that my lips is absorbing the collagen 
And I mean, this is just me Googling, so this isn't like great research, but it does say from the sources that I was looking at, the collagen is quite a large molecule and it's too big to really penetrate the skin. However, it is a humectant, which means that it attracts moisture to it. So between the vitamin E, the collagen acting as a humectant, and then like the oils and things in there, like I do feel very, very moisturized. So here are my thoughts. I would say, like, I think these are fun. It definitely feels like it does something. My lips feel smooth. Like, they feel smooth. They do feel plumper, although I don't know if that's just sort of numbing effect that's making them feel that way. Um, but it feels really nice. And it doesn't seem, I was worried that it was going to turn my skin red sort of around my mouth where it also sat. It doesn't seem to do that. For me, this isn't like, a comfortable spa experience. It was not that enjoyable, the feeling of like having my mouth covered. But if I was going to like a big event or something like that, I could see using this, especially in the winter, to hydrate my lips, to smooth them out, to plump them up so that I would look extra good. Like I don't see using this three times, two or three times a week to have like ongoing lips like this. That's just not in my price range to do. Um, if it's in yours, then hey, go for it. Um, but I can see holding on to these and using them before like an event or a date or something like that where I want really, really nice smooth lips. Uh, so that is my impression of this product. I know a lot of you who watch my channel also receive BoxyCharm. Have you tried these? What do you think of it? Because uh, this is a new experience for me and I don't know how I feel about a lip sheet mask, basically. Like, I do kind of feel like I would just prefer, like, the Bite Agave lip mask. Uh, those things that are the thick product that sit on your lips rather than the mask that sits over top of it. It's my feeling but I wanna hear yours. Uh, leave your comments down below. I do respond to every comment that I get, or at least I try as hard as I can to. Um, if you like this video, hey, you could give it a thumbs up. That would let me know that you liked it. I let others know that you like it, and it's an awesome thing to do. If you wanna to subscribe to my channel, I do attempt to put out about three videos per week. This week I was not able to, but I do try. Uh, you can click on my face, I'll put it right there so you can subscribe. You can click on the bell down below so that you do get notified when I upload. And I'll put one of my other videos right here so that you can click on that, watch it, and spend a little bit more time with me. Thanks so much for joining me for this experiment today, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!